Hi all, this is Michael here. So today uh, we are gonna go. Um, I'm gonna be showing you how you flash custom ROM for your uh, <coughs> uh, Google Nexus S. Yeah, this this variant is basically the uh, the AT and T variant, which is the i nine zero two zero A. Uh, but the custom ROM should be similar. The only thing that you need to remember is when you are flashing the stock factory image, you need to make sure that you, are stock, uh, you flash the correct one. So there are version of uh, i9020T as well as the i9020A. So please make sure you don't flash the wrong factory image back as it will basically break the phone itself. So this is the AT&T variant, i 9020 a So I'll be showing you today how do you flash uh, Cyan Engine Mod 11 uh, back to the uh, back I mean like to this to this particular phone itself Nexus S so the code name is Crespo I do have the ROM in my collection you can't actually download it anywhere now it's pretty hard to find so uh, I do have it if you're interested you can actually download it from my uh, cloud, cloud drive um, I will leave a link down below for you to do that Just a short introduction of, of this phone itself. Uh, so currently, this phone still runs on uh, gingerbread. If you look at the setting stuff, it's still on gingerbread. Pretty similar to what Nexus has, uh, Nexus One has. So the um, model will be uh, two point three point four Nexus S i zero nine i i nine zero two zero eight. So this is the this is the stock build that they have now. So what we are going to do now is to try to. Uh, show you the step-by-step -step guide to actually flash this to a custom uh, cyanogen mod ROM and there will be another video to show you how you actually flash to a Moki ROM as well as uh, a video to actually help you guys to actually flash the uh, Nexus S back to factory stock ROM right so let's get on with it okay in order to enable the verbal option for uh, gingerbread itself you it's basically pretty, pretty simple as compared to uh, uh, the later Android version. So here you just go application development and enable USB debugging. So once this is done, then we proceed to the next step. Okay, before we start the uh, process, what we need to do is to copy in the uh, custom ROM files and GApps into your phone first, so that we can flash it. So what you do you do now is to actually uh, select the custom ROM that you want, which is uh, CM11, Mocky, as well as the Open. Yeah. So you can just copy this and put it into the phone itself. Okay. So once you have uh, copied the file into the phone, you can close off this folder. And you can actually turn off the USB storage from your phone so that you can get exited. So once we have done that, we will continue on with the process. Okay, before we start, um, first the first thing that you need in your computer will be ADB. So please make sure you have ADB installed. If you don't and you need to install it, you can. My recommendation is to actually install minimal ADB and fastboot. Um, I'll leave a link down below. You can get download from there. And install it that's one of the easiest way to do it okay then the next thing that you need to do is to check your phone right so um, <clears throat> what you need to do is to plug in your phone now after you enable USB debugging so uh, you sh the phone should show you that ADB debugging is connected and stuff so here what you can do is do a ADB devices to make sure that you are connected So as you can see now, there's a device connected, so it means you're fine, right? So uh, after that, what you need to do is to do a, a ADB reboot, boot loader, to boot your phone into fast boot mode. So once your phone is in fast boot, then we'll move on to the phone for, to continue on with the setup. Okay, basically if you look at the um, phone now, it's in, it's in uh, fast boot mode. But you can actually do the next step, which is to flash in recovery for this one. Actually, two ways you can actually boot recovery to install your your next uh, your custom ROM, or you can actually flash the recovery 
to do that so it's completely up to you how you want to do it i'll show you the way to to actually boot into recovery and flash the flash the rom itself so um, if you want to do a permanent flash of recovery it's fine with you as well so let's get on with it okay for those who are having uh, drivers issue with fast boot as, as you see now the uh, android device is already detected so normally what you want to do you you will basically get android 1.0 kind of um, problem with the driver because they can't find the driver so if you have a google usb driver available downloaded in your machine you can actually use that for what what i'm doing now is to show how you do it what you can do is just uh, open up this one put all the interface so if you can see normally what you do if you get android one you just do update then you browse the driver and you pick from computer and stuff then from here you normally will have this then you browse to your USB driver folder which is this one that I have then you select the winusb.inf and open and you just do OK so normally you'll get loaded with this three model so you just choose choose the Android bootloader interface for your fast boot and you just do a click next they will install and and all those stuff so once it's done your driver should be okay then you can proceed on with your fast boot uh, command right so let's just get on to the next step Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to actually have a custom recovery uh, for us to do the custom ROM flashing. So there are a few options that you can do. One of them is either you do a permanent flash of recovery to your recovery partition or you can actually just boot the custom recovery and do the flash. And when you get rebooted, your recovery will stay back to the original one. So the choice is yours, it's up to you. But what I normally do is that I'll normally flash, uh, I'll do a boot so that I can do the custom ROM kind of uh, flash and um, I'll let it boot back to the original uh, recovery itself so that depends what you do if you plan to do a root then it's better for you to do a permanent flash but if you don't plan to do root like myself I just want a custom ROM so I will normally just do a, a like boot the recovery itself rather than flash permanently into the phone so okay so the next step what we, uh, the next step we should do is to actually do a fast boot devices to make sure that the device is connected as you can see now the device is connected then the next thing you will want to do is to do a recovery uh, a custom recovery boot so first of all you will need to see where your custom recovery is downloaded for me it's actually downloaded here the Crespo TWRP stuff so what you want to do now is to do a fast boot boot recovery TWRP right then you just press enter okay before we start installing since you are in the recovery stuff what you need to do is do a wipe you need to actually wipe everything so um, you need to actually wipe the except except for internal sd you need to actually wipe the system data cache android secure maybe except for the internal sd card uh, because we are actually flashing on top of gingerbread so if your system partition is still there there might be a problem when we are doing the flash right so what we need to do now is just do a swipe except for internal sd because the file is all in there so we just do a swipe here then they will be wiping uh, all the partition now then they will be actually doing the flash after this so we just need to wait out the process so once the wipe is done you need to go back go back go back so now you can do an install so like what I said we can install CM and we add more zips and we put in the G apps so when we have this two in what we can do next is to just to flash the zip file itself for the custom ROM so let's wait the, for the process to complete as this will take a while uh, normally the first boot will take a while so you just need to wait it out uh, since it's still connected to the computer then as you can see this thing is here so I'll just allow it for now and um, so now your cyanogen more or less is booted up so you need to go through some settings uh, okay then you can skip this I'll skip all the settings stuff for now skip uh, yeah just turn it off first next 
Okay, next. Finish. <clears throat> okay. So as you can see now, this is the uh, Zyanar Mujun Mod 11 for Nexus S. Um, let's just take a look at these settings. Go to about phone. So currently it's running uh, Android 4.4.4. So, so there you go. You already have Android 4.4.4 installed into your Nexus S. So that's all for now. I think uh, if you guys have any issues or problems in installing this ROM, just let me know. Leave a comment down below and I'll try to help as much as I can. And you need to download the ROM. I'll have my the ROM link, the download link uh, in my uh, description below so that you guys can actually download it and try it out yourself. Uh, and just remember, in the next video itself, I will basically do the uh, how you actually flash back to stock ROM for this one. Um, the reason being why I'm not actually do it using um, any custom ROM for this is because I think, yeah, the custom ROM that did have the latest port of 404, so it's up to you. Uh, for stock, I think they only have like until 4.1.2, if I'm not wrong. So um, in the next video, I'll show you how you guys revert this back to the stock factory settings so that uh, for those who prefer stock ROM, they can actually flash it back to stock. Those that prefer custom ROM, they can actually use it this guide to actually flash the custom ROM to their Nexus S. And, and, and it's like what I said, it's still pretty quick. Things are still pretty nice. So it's up to you whether what you want to do. Um, okay, that's all for now. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you guys like what I'm doing and want, want to actually uh, know more about what other devices I'll be doing on flashing and also uh, some other reviews that I've, I'll be doing uh, just subscribe my channel I would appreciate that and um, hope to see you again soon bye